Do you find it difficult to add large numbers without using a calculator? Lots of people, even grown-ups, find this difficult and a bit scary. It's really important to know how to do this in case you need to add together money or distance and don't have a calculator. I'm going to show you how to break big additions down so it doesn't seem hard at all. Let's say you've been given the numbers 3,765 and 5,081 and asked to add them together. First things first, numbers like this might be too big for your head, so grab a piece of paper and write them down. List the numbers on top of each other and make a note of the units, tens, hundreds and thousands at the very top. Once we've listed these numbers, we can start adding. Always remembering to start from the smallest part of the number, the units. So 5 plus 1 equals 6. The number 6 is still a unit, so we can fit that into the units column, like this. Next we have to add 6 plus 8, which is 14. But remember that the 6 and 8 are in the tens column, so they are 6 tens and 8 tens, which means 14 is 14 tens or 140. To make space for this number we can put the 1 in the hundreds column and keep the 4 in the tens. Next, let's add the hundreds. We need to add 7 plus 0 which equals 7. But don't forget about the 1 we carried over. So 7 plus 0 plus 1 equals 8. Finally, we need to add up the thousands column in the same way. So we add 3 plus 5, which equals 8. Now we can see our final number and we know that 3765 add 5081 equals 8846. And we did it all without using a calculator. If you think you've mastered this technique, try having a go by yourself. Try adding 8,471 and 4,623. And let's see how you get on. Don't forget to show your answers to your Tutors United tutor at your next lesson. If you need extra help with your maths or English, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch the videos as they come out or you can visit us at tutorsunited.org.